Hey, it's Mike McCarthy here, and in this video we're going to take a look at adding some dynamics to feathers. In our last video we looked at uh, setting up the groom for this character and adding feathers to it with Ornatrix, and here we're going to add a little dynamics to those feathers. So to do that, we're going to use the Mass Effects Dynamics setup. It's pretty basic, and for a simple character like this, should work fairly well. To add in dynamics to our character, it's always recommended that you do that kind of at the guide level and below hair from guide. So I'm going to click on uh, surface comb because we do want that this shape of the groom uh, before we add dynamics and just add in our dynamics modifier. I'll have to turn off show end result here. And now the dynamics modifier has been added. Now normally what I would suggest is actually to go into guides from surface and adjust your number of points, but I want to show you why that is. If right off the bat we go in and we turn off Mass Effects, or sorry, turn on Mass Effects, and do a simulation, you can see we're going to get some pretty crazy hair that's wobbling around and doing some weird stuff. I always recommend using the visualizer, which you can do by going in here and then clicking on Enable Visualizer. And if we do that, we're going to see why this is a little bit wacky. So we have a lot of joints to deal with and they're all very very large okay and that's something that we really want to address. Now we can address the size right here in our dynamics modifier so if I go down to our mutual forces here you can see that under global radius we can set this so let's set it down to one and see what we got okay so there's our hair behaving a lot better uh, at a size of one, not bouncing off uh, all sorts of different things. And that's going to be important. I'm going to unhide uh, that base mesh there. So that's going to be really useful. The other thing that you can see, though, is we really have a lot of fidelity in these feathers that we don't need. And it can cause mostly simulation issues. Um, it, it can be pretty difficult to work with. So if I go down to Guides from Surface, you always want to simulate as low as you possibly can. So our number of points in our guides is fairly high for a simple feather like this. I'm going to drop it down to less than half and go back to dynamics and show this. So you can see now those are really simple. They kind of bounce around, bounce off the base mesh and work really well. We can even look at this with our show end result on so we can see what the general feathers are going to look like in general and we're looking pretty sharp thus far okay uh, might go into our dynamics and maybe I just kind of bring some of the uh, hair density down maybe I'll set that to 0.75 uh, or something of that nature this will give them a little bit more of a floaty feel let them settle into place a bit and I think that's looking good for now. Um, there's a videos or a couple videos on dynamics that you can look at about tuning these dynamics in different places. There's mapping and root to tip stuff that you can do, uh, but we're going to keep it pretty basic for this one. The next thing that I wanted to show is how to add a force. So if I go into my feathers layer, you can see that I have this wind force, which I'm going to unhide and select. Here's my wind force. It has a standard strength and I've added a little bit of turbulence and scale so that we have um, you know, a little bit of fluff or flutter in the feathers for that matter. And I'm going to go down to our external forces in the dynamics modifier, click on add force and choose the wind. Now with the wind selected, I'll just play back and you can see it kind of fluttering around there, back and forth and we're looking pretty good. And you can adjust this. I'll just actually um, <clears throat> set this to start simulation without animation. So we can adjust this kind of in real time here and you know bring it the strength down or negative or whatever it is that you want. Set it to something pretty high like 20. Bring it back to 1. If you want to bring more tor turbulence in you can set that and have them flutter around quite a bit. So you can kind of tune it to what it is that you want in real time and kind of see what's going on after the fact. So I'm pretty happy with that. And once we're happy with it, what we want to do is just go into our uh, Bake All option and click on Bake All. You can see the hairs fluttering around a bit. 
we get some nice motion as the character moves around and we get some nice dynamics with our feathers so I'll close this out now we don't need to simulate anymore I'll turn off edge faces and maybe go back into realistic and we can see our feathers kind of flutter around and move around on the bird just hide that base mesh right there and that's how you set up some basic dynamics with a bird character using Ornatrix for feathers and dynamics of those feathers. Hopefully that will help you out in your productions and if you're setting up feathers for your characters. Thank you very much.